built up travel heads. I lost count of how many Vietnamese sandwich shops we drove past in Orange County, but we had to try a few spots that are well known, including one that's similar to Vietnam's Bunny. We are here at the Pickled Bunny. Pickled Bunny. Pretty long piece of bunny here. We both got the crispy pork belly, number, number 12. 12. Hopefully uh, it's not going to be sour, it's yeah. just pickled. Sandwich is longer, but it's not as wide as your regular bunny, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of you know, slim. Like Lee like sandwich style, right? Yeah. Longer. It reminds me of the a traditional Vietnamese bunny in Vietnam. Look at those pork belly. I'm expecting a little fried crispiness from those pork belly. See that crispy skin. Lots of cilantro. Got some lettuce in here too. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Something you know. different. Lettuce different. And what's unique about this place? The drive through Yeah, the drive through I've never seen a bunny place with drive through until today. That's interesting. Alright, yeah. cheers. Let's try it out. The marinated pork really good. Mm -hmm. It's really crispy too. Yeah, it's crispy for sure too. It's like a soft hollow sandwich. For my okay. Vietnam. So the bunny is a bit airy as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, in Hakman we would eat the um, crispy pork belly. Every morning. Bunny. Every morning, we'll have iced coffee. And then this, it really reminds us of it, right? The crispy skin on it and the sauce as well. But over here, it's like $7 something or $8. Over there, it was like 50 cents. Yeah, 50 yeah, cents. Yeah, 50 cents for a sugar cane drink. That's as why well. we eat every day in the morning. <laughs> and super good. But yeah. On to the next destination. Our next bun me spot has six locations around Orange County. And the price is more affordable than your average bun me nowadays. Alright guys, so we are here at THH Sandwich. This is another spot to go to when you're out here in Orange County. I have here the grilled pork bunny. I got the combination, that big sandwich. So we have grilled pork scallions. Scallions not normally in my bunnies in Oakland, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's different here. That's how, that's how Vietnamese do it in Vietnam, like literally Vietnam style. Got some sancho, some jalapeno, daikon, carrots, and you know, and they even have lettuce here, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and they got cucumber, but I'm not a fan of cucumber, so yeah. What did you have in yours? I got cold cut with pork cake and jalapeno, cucumber, pickle. Pate? Yeah. Just a little light. Yeah, light, pate. really light. No pate on mine, it's mayo. Oh wow, look at those meat. Why don't we go give it a try? Cheers. Cheers. The first bite was pretty good. What I recommend is more sauce. More pate or just? No, sauce. Or soy sauce or any kind of sauce. Like mayo, huh? Yeah. yeah. Again, another airy and very thin bread. Mm -hmm. pork is good. The familiar grilled pork cake than every other bun that I have. I never heard of a mung bean pandan drink, so I had to come get it. How is it? So you get the texture of mung bean, mm -hmm. but you get a little of that pandan, the light little flavor of pandan in it. It reminds me of Sunnily's mung bean milk tea. First time trying something like this. First time hearing about something like this. Now for the cheapest of the three. Cheaper than my go-to spot in Oakland. They got several locations in SoCal as well, including drive through So we are here at Bun Mi Jai Cali, and we have here the uh, meatloaf with head cheese. Sounds kind of exotic. This place is called Bun Mi Jai Cali. That means sandwich dessert Cali. What would you say is inside? Uh, I see pork cake, this gelatin thing. It kind of looks like a number two, like a combination and every bunny spot. Just came here right in the early morning when they first opened. Right, Wait, right, try right. This place has a lot of taste. I think the soy sauce and the pate, they put a lot of pate, which I like. Yeah, there's a lot of different type of flavor in here, right? What really stands out is I'm not sure what this meat called. It was called the uh, head cheese. The head cheese really does stand out. Everything has like a light taste to it, but it's a lot of flavor, but the head cheese actually tastes mm -hmm. pretty strong. It tastes, tastes kind of like buttery-ish. Mm -hmm. Kind of like eating um, head butter. Yeah, all this part, eats meat before the head cheese. Ham, it tastes like, uh, ham, pork cake. That's pretty much it with the head cheese. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of uh, number two. Overall, the ingredients are really good. It's really fresh. The head cheese has very good taste to it, which I really like. The only thing is that the bread is not as crunchy. The ingredients make up for it. On our next video, we go around Orange County trying out food that reminds us of Vietnam. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Until then, travel. You have to eat this too. <laughs> I guess yeah. chair.